This training video is on the use of the ripping function found in Video Surgeon. Let's go ahead and click this button and take a look at the underlying dialog window which opens. You can see it here on my screen. Uh, if it does not open to your DVD drive, then just use the Windows dialog here and browse to that DVD drive. In this case, it is my E drive right here. And then the other thing that you need to remember is that when we talk about ripping from a DVD, you are looking for .vob files. And those are found in the video underscore ts folder. If we go there, you can see the .vob files. The other thing I'd like to point out just real briefly here is that these are large files. Uh, typically, DVDs store in one gigabyte files. Uh, so you can see here we have uh, nominally a gigabyte, here's another gigabyte, and then there's a smaller piece of only a half a gigabyte uh, here just before these two and after it there's a, something a little over a half a gigabyte. So all of these are very large files except for this first file which is probably the table of contents or the introduction. So keep in mind that when you select something to rip you're going to be tying up your computer for a significant amount of time. It'll depend upon your CPU speed and your memory and a bunch of other things, but I mean a, a gigabyte file could take 10, 15, 20 minutes to possibly rip, so just keep that in mind. The other thing that you um, need to know is that as you rip, you're obviously going to be giving it a, a name. Um, you know, you probably don't want to call it VTS underscore zero one underscore one dot VOB. You may want to, you know, call it um, part one, part two, part three, whatever. So you give it its own name and then you save it and you can save it in either an AVI format, an MP4 format, or an MOV format. And all of these can be opened within Video Surgeon and they can be converted to other file formats within Video Surgeon. The other thing that you may want to do is that you may want to preview one of these files. Uh, because you may be looking for a specific part of the video that you'd like to use in Video Surgeon and you may not know exactly which one of these files that, that it's in. In fact, you probably won't know and so you may need to preview it. So just select the video and then click on the preview button here and it will give you a little preview screen and you can watch the video and it'll give you the chance to find the particular part of the video that you are looking for. Lastly, as I conclude, just let me point out that when you rip, you're actually going to be placing a copy of one or more of these files onto your computer. You can't really open these files directly in Video Surgeon. You need to place them on your computer, and that's what the ripping process does. So once you've ripped, then you're in order to open it, then you've got to go ahead and go to your open button and find the file that you've ripped and select it to open it. And the location for those ripped files you can find right here. If you go to the options button, by default we set up a number of different directories and subdirectories when Video Surgeon is installed. And here you can see the directory on my machine for these ripped files is going to be right here. So that's where you would go to open this file after you've ripped it using the rip functionality. So we'll conclude this training video on the ripping function in Video Surgeon.